Hello and welcome to Indus News. My name is Hamza Amjad coming to you from our studios in Lahore. These are the top stories of this hour. US-backed Kurdish rebels have begun an assault against the final Islamic State enclave in eastern Syria. In a tweet, Kurdish rebel spokesman Mustafa Bali said they have started the decisive battle to finish off the remaining ISIS militants in the village of Baruz. Bali said that some 20,000 civilians were evacuated from the ISIS-held area in the eastern province of Deir ez-Zor. Next up, the Afghan envoy to the US has said that women's rights are not negotiable in efforts to reach peace with Taliban. In an interview, Afghanistan's envoy to the US, Roya Rahmani, said that no deal would be agreed unless Taliban assure giving up their women rights abuses. Meanwhile, clashes have erupted between the Kashmiri protesters and Indian occupation forces in southern occupied Kashmir. The civilians came under fire after confronting Indian forces during an operation against freedom fighters in Kulgam district. Indian occupation forces fired pellets and tear gas at the Kashmiri protesters. Moving on, thousands of yellow vest protesters have clashed with police in Paris for the 13th straight weekend of demonstrations against President Emmanuel Macron. Police fired tear gas and used water cannons to disperse protesters who threw firecrackers at the police and set vehicles on fire. Police said that there was also an arson attack on the residence of the National Assembly head. And a lawmaker, along with his two supporters, have been shot dead in India's eastern state of West Bengal. Satyajit Biswas, a member of Mamta Banerjee's party, Trinamool Congress, was killed after he inaugurated a religious event in Nadia district. Trinamool Congress has blamed the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's party BJP for the murder. Police have booked BJP leader Mukul Roy as the prime suspect. That was all for the moment. Thank you for watching in this news. Stay with us.